If you're gay, then you're gay. Don't pretend that you're straight. You could be who you are any day of the week. I write pretty much all day. Every it's labeled full, full of dad's hot air. I'm three years old, splash it everywhere. It's so can I love a fair water. Riverbanks, with all my friends, a big old time to live. You're a big old horse, and you don't jump in the water. guys Sonic 245 here sorry if you don't like country music that song is Brad Paisley water and the next one is online and it's also by Brad Paisley and that one is also a another song that is country based so with that being said all right so in the last chapter we found out that um, we found out the, um, we found out the, um, babies, genders, two girls, and one boy. And the rest of it, Harry sung to the kids. So, chapter six. I mean, chapter 16. Here we go. Nice point of view. Two months later. I am now three months along, and I have a small bump forming. I can hunt. I still, I can still hide it under my normal clothes, but, and all but Liam has been more protective of me lately. It, it gets kind of annoying, but I know he's just trying to keep me and the baby safe, so I put up with it. Right now, he's in driving school. Please be careful, Nye. He said, I rolled my eyes and sighed. I will, Liam, I promise. I said, taking his hand in mine. We have this conversation every day. I know. I know. I just don't want you to get hurt or the baby. He said, taking one of his hands off the steering wheel and putting it on my stomach. I smiled and put his hand over his. I know you're just trying to protect me, and that's the one. And that's one of the reasons why I love you. I said, taking his hand off my stomach so I could intertwine our fingers together. I love you too, for a lot of reasons. It would be... It would take forever to say them all. Okay. But right here, he said, pulling it into the, school, the school's lot. I sighed before fixing my bag on my shoulder. Another day of hell, I mumbled to myself. I know, babe. But I'm here for you. Just text. Samson, did you hear someone knocking down here? No. Samson's quilt fell too. You have to get Samson's quilt. Or parcel, caps, and whatever, whatever you are. Just text me any time of the day if you need me. I'll be right by your side no matter what, no matter where I am. He explained, leaning over and pecking my lips. Yeah. I smiled and giggled and got out of the car. He walked around the car and wrapped his arms around my waist. 
We got a few rude stares making a making I sigh. You know, you would think that they would be used to us being together, but I guess not, I said. He shrugged as he got as we got to my locker and he pushed me up against it gently. He took my hand and in his and and put his in another another one of the sides of my head and smiled and giggled again. You wanna know what I say to them? he asked. I felt his hot breath against hit my face, making me melt what what? I asked as I got closer to my face. Screw him. He said before pressing his lips firmly to mine. I wrapped my arms around his neck and his hands went to my waist and pulled me closer. Lean we're in the middle of the hallways, I said between kisses. We stared one more pat we shared one more passionate kiss and they rest his forehead of mine. So He sat smirking at me. I smiled and laughed. Hey lovebirds, we heard a Brad Forrest accent say we looked over her. I look over Liam's shoulder and see Zane. Zany, I said. Yes, he's one of my best friends now, so I call him Zany. Hey Nai, you guys realize you're in the middle of the school hallways, right? Not a motel room. He joked. I laughed a bit as I pulled away from Liam and he wrapped his arms around my waist. When are you going to tell Zane? Liam whispered in his ear. I looked over at him with wide eyes. Oh my god, we haven't told him. I asked him, Liam shook his head, tell me what? You guys know I'm right here, right? I can hear I can hear you talking about me. He said, giving me a smile. A small smile. Zane, me and Liam have some news we wanna Me, Niall, and I my bad. Have some news to share with you. Liam said, then I pulled back and opened my locker before grabbing my things, trying to avoid the subject. Come on, Niall, he's our best friend, we can trust him. Liam said, I hit my face in my locker, rubbing him rubbing my back, I nodded before pulling my hand in my locker. Zane, please don't call me a freak or leave me, you're one of my best friends, I sat on the verge of tears. Came over, wrapped his arms tightly around me. Niall, just tell me what's wrong and I'll be there for you, I'll be there for you. He asked, and not, I nodded when I pulled back and wiped my face. I'm pregnant. I said he raised an eyebrow and laughed a bit. Wait, for a second there, I thought you said you were pregnant. He said, I sighed before reaching into my bag and pointing out the latest sonogram photo that showed my baby. See? I'm not lying. I said before hiding behind Liam and as Zane looked at the photo in awe. Wow, this is... Whoa. Zane said and laughed a bit. Niall, I'm here for you, I promise. I'm still your best friend. You're not a freak, you're just carrying a baby. You're bringing, you're bringing a new life into this world. How was that, how was that so wrong? He asked as I sighed with a shrug, taking the picture back from him. I don't know, but a lot of people seem to disapprove of this type of thing, Liam spoke. Spoke up hugging me closer. The bottom rang, we all groaned, Ugh. I love you, Lee, I said, facing him and kissing him. Love you too, babe, be safe. He warned I nodded. I'll see you guys at lunch, Zane asked. I'll see you guys at lunch, Zane asked, and we nodded. We said our goodbyes, and we went off to our first classes. Lunch came around painfully slow. Ollie doesn't touch me anymore, but Liam or Zane can't stop calling him. Can't stop the name calling fag, useless, ugly, dumb fuck. Those are only some of the things he called me. Yeah, they hurt, but I put up with it. No, it's a total lie. Here I am, sobbing in Liam's chest as he rubs my back, trying to calm me down. Baby, please calm down, please, he whispered to Mayor. He just won't stop. I'm sorry, my hormones are all over the place. I'm not even that upset. Jesus Christ. I said, pulling away from him and taking my glasses off and wiping my face on my sleeve with my sleeve. Hey, it's okay. You're right. Your hormones are everywhere right now, but that's because you're having our baby. He whispered in my ear, making me smile. 
When he pulled back, we smiled at each other, and he wrapped his arms around my waist and to pull me closer. You got, you guys are seriously going to make me throw up with all this lovey dove shit, Zane said. I forgot he was. I forgot he was even here. Deal with it, mate. Leon said, taking a chip off his plate and hitting him in the face with it before taking a bite. I started to laugh as he smiled and Zane glared at me. I'll don't touch my food, Zane. Zane said, pulling his food closer to him as he started to laugh hard. You guys are such... You guys are such child. I got cut off by a tape over my, on my shoulder. I look up slowly to see Cheryl Lloyd standing there smiling at me. Is the seat taken? She asked. Um, uh, um, I couldn't find the words. So she just laughed a bit before saying that. Why aren't you with your precious boyfriend, Ollie? Liam asked. I broke up with him. She said, and my eyes whined. Really? I said, as she laughed. So the little bond, so the little blondie finds his words. She said, making me blush. Listen, I'm sorry for what he's done to you. When you bumped me in the hallways, I knew you didn't mean to. Uh, I said it was fine, but he saw me, and he, then he saw and started to chase you. I kept calling for him to come back, but he just kept going after you. I was worried about you all day because you didn't show up to any of your classes we had together. I talked to him and said not to touch you, but it ended up in a fight, and that's when I realized I couldn't handle it anymore, so I broke it off. He didn't even seem to seem to care, which I don't know why, but it got me upset. But the, but at this point, but the point is, I'm sorry. She finished. I had tears in my eyes, and the next thing I knew, I was hugging her. It's okay, I said as she hugged me back. I just felt so bad I didn't say anything to him sooner. She said, and I and I struggled. It's fine, honestly. I said once I pulled back. Aw, oh, don't cry, you're gonna make me cry, she said, wiping away a tear that slid down her face. I'm sorry, I said, we both laughed. Can we be friends, she asked, holding out her hand to me. I took it and smiled, friends. I said, and she pulled me in another for a bone-crushing hug. Thank you, she whispered to me, and the bell rang, signaling it was time to go. Aw, oh, I didn't even eat, I didn't even touch my food, I whined, and Liam laughed. We can go to my place and we can eat lunch there after school. Sound good? He asked once again, wrapping his arms around my waist and pulling me onto his side. That sounds great. Author's note. Neom! Yeah, I love Neom. Haha. <laughs> anyway, here is your chapter. And I know... And now they have a new friend. Whoa, remember to comment, vote, and follow Ash. So. Wow. But there is one thing I don't get. What? William said he felt taped. Tape. Oh, it was a tap. My bad. I thought I thought that he felt tape on his back. Like a tape on his back. But no, it was a tap by Cheryl. By Cher. But. But. um, Because I was wondering. Because I read that. I'm like, wait a minute. What? Did she put- did she tape something to the back of his shirt or whatever he was wearing? So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day, and until next time, gaze okay, just ask the GSA. Mwah!